Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Age of Empire 4. Uh, I did a couple of alpha right now and now it's the stress test. Um, the game is not well optimized, honestly. So I will show you a couple of tweaks to make sure that you're running the game smoothly. So the first one is the game mode. Make sure that you activate the game mode. In the recent year, Microsoft uh, did a lot of update with this one. And it's really great. And also it's really great uh, for games that you're playing on the Game Pass. So really important to put this one at on. It will help you to make sure that your processor will dedicate the best score to the game. And make sure that all your resources are focused on the game. For the Xbox Game Pass, I recommend to still to remove it. Uh, it's crazy. It's causing stuttering, a problem with graphic, also some artifact when you're playing the game. So for me, it's a big no right now, the Xbox Game Pass. Also, I don't recommend to use like overlays, the one from Discord, AMD or Nvidia. Just remove all those stuff. It will help you a lot with the stability of your game. After that, for capture, make sure your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. I also recommend to have the latest version of Windows 10. Uh, you're going to make sure that you have the latest like update. And if you have an NVIDIA card series 1000 or more recent, you will have an option called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. To find this, you need to write graphic setting in your search bar and activate this. Put this one at on. You will need to restart your computer. It will help you a lot uh, for like old computer, entry level, mid range old computer with bottlenecks. Uh, it can like give you three to five percent boost in your FPS. But if you have a modern or recent like computer, it should not affect your uh, your performance. So no boost over here. Another thing that I recommend is make sure that you update your uh, driver. Really important, Radian. Uh, Nvidia or even Intel, even if you're using an iGPU, go on the Intel website, download the latest driver. Don't just update your driver with the Windows update. You really need like the software to software to do it. Age of Empire is a big game. It's a triple A game. So you really want the uh, maximum optimization from uh, the, uh, the, 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 the constructor of your uh, video card. One more thing, it's the energy plan, right? Energy. Go to power option. Uh, so for a desktop computer, normally it will not affect you. You should be balanced by default or high performance. But if you're uh, playing this game on a laptop, it can help you. Uh, I saw a lot of like different brand. When you using your laptop on the battery, they have like some power saver or eco mode that they're using. But when you plug your laptop in the wall, it doesn't change to balance or high performance. So really important, look at this. Put balance, it will help you a lot to make sure that you're using the maximum power of your resources. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. So this is pretty much it for the setup of Windows. Now we will go inside of the game. Uh, we're going to make sure that we're getting like the most of FPS, but we're still getting a decent image. So now for the graphic parameter, let's start with graphic. First of all, I really recommend to use the game window exclusive full screen. I did a couple of tests with uh, Borderless or even the full desktop. I was getting stuttering, so for me, exclusive full screen was the best uh, for playing this game. After that, for the resolution, I'm playing native resolution. Really important, don't lower your resolution, just play your native monitor. Uh, it, when you lower your resolution, you're getting like a... Sometimes it, it, it's weird, the downscaling, you're getting like blurriness and stuff like that. So I recommend to touch the resol resolution scale after the old guide if you're still lagging and you want to lower your resolution. Just lower the render scale, do, do something like 90 or even 80. Don't go too low for this. Uh, again, it, the, your game will look like very blurry pixels and stuff like that. So don't go too crazy with this one. For the image quality, I didn't see a huge improvement over here uh, for FPS. It's almost like 2% for each bracket. Um, so really depend again on your computer. If you're playing on an old computer, uh, go with medium, like entry level laptop with an integrated GPU and stuff like that. For the rest of the people, you can definitely play at high. Animation quality, this one can help you a lot with your FPS. Um, I'm getting like 2 to 3% for each bracket. And it really depends on your CPU, it looks like. Uh, on my laptop, I'm, I have like a pretty bad CPU. And this one can help me a lot with my FPS. So definitely this one, low or medium, depending on your computer. Lighting quality, I recommend medium, a nice 3% boost when you go at medium. Medium to low is only 1% boost, so that's why I keep 
medium. For the texture detail, I'm going with I. Honestly, if you have like four gig of VRAM and more, you can definitely play at I. Three gig go with medium and less than three gig go with low. Geometry detail, I recommend something between high or medium. Uh, medium to low, I didn't see a big difference in my FPS, but uh, medium and high are pretty much the, a, a good spot. Ultra and maximum is taking a lot of resources, so that's why I don't recommend to use those one. So it really depend if you like, like a really good like a mid-range computer, uh, uh, I don't know, with a GTX 980, something like that, you can definitely go with high. Anti-aliasing, again, it really depends here. But yeah, I don't like the anti-aliasing in this game. It's a little bit blurry, so that's why I'm removing it. I'm getting a nice 5% boost also in my FPS when I remove it. If you don't like aliasing in a game, go with low. Uh, it will be a little bit better and you will uh, still getting some boost in your FPS. So it really depends uh, what you like with your aliasing. Physic, this one can impact a lot your FPS uh, if you have a bad CPU. Again, on my laptop, it's crazy when I'm fighting and like uh, building or destroying and stuff like that. I'm getting crazy drop in my FPS. But when physics is at low, it helps a lot to stabilize my, my FPS. So that's why I'm using low. Vertical sync, I'm going with uh, off with this one. I have like a free sync monitor. So free sync, G sync monitor, you re remove your vertical sync. If you don't like um, uh, tiering when you're playing, definitely. Put this one at on if you don't have free sync or G sync, but it really depends what you like. Frame rate limit. Uh, I'm putting 165. I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm staying in my uh, free sync range. It doesn't work in the menu right now, but it's working in the game. So uh, really depend what is your goal. If you want to limit your FPS because you don't want to generate too much heat in your computer, uh, you can definitely do that with this. After that, you have movie quality. You have two options over here. Uh, yeah, first of all, if you want to just to see the movie in 1080p, but you have the option 4K HDR if you have like a 4K HDR screen or if you want to upscale the movie cutscene, stuff like that. So uh, doesn't change anything for your FPS when because it's not when you're playing the game. Last option is the sound quality. I really like this one. Uh, I was playing... Uh, it helped me a lot back in the days with my old computer when I was playing StarCraft 2. So if you have, again, a bad CPU or really old CPU, this one can help you a lot. Go with medium or low and you will have a much better experience when you will play Age of Empire 4. So this is pretty much it, guys, with my uh, Age of Empire 4 guide. If you have uh, any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig. So CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.